Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dawson video, and today we will be playing some War Thunder. I'm so happy I got the camera back up and running. Sorry about the last video where I didn't have the camera, uh, the face cam working because I was having technical issues with the camera after doing the review on the My Little Pony movie. But I'm going to be reviewing this game. While playing the game. Honestly, you guys, I really love this game. Actually, I'm gonna just be doing a bunch of test flights of all the different planes I've ever played as. Now, I really love this game. The purpose I love this game is because it's so interesting, intriguing, and you have all these different aspects and teeters and controls to go with, and different people to play with. This is a German plane. If you guys remember from a long time ago, I was on the German planes and it was a really interesting way of playing the game but um the primary purpose of the game was to gain air superiority and we're gonna be taking flight and remember raise your gears when you take off because gears cause air lag air lag causes slowing of your plane and basically what I love about the game see how there's that one ground unit right there I hit it target destroyed now there's different keys like there's the D key that allows you to spin that way and the A key that allows me to spin this way but there's also the E key that makes it easier to turn from side to side depending on my preference if I wanted to quickly go downward or upward or turn to downward position fire upon a group I would do that now the fun thing about this game is that you can play online now many people don't see the online thing as fun or online with planes as fun as other people find it well and it's relatively fun I can tell you that much now I as you guys can see I'm flying over many different buildings constructions and I'm trying not to crash I'm gonna try and pilot through this nuclear place oh god oh god oh god oh god engine dead Now there's my gears. Now as I press G, if I press, did I hit it? There. It revolves my gears up. Now if I turn back around, I'm probably gonna crash. And I hit G again. I just lost my engine, correct? But that's because I was speeding. And now I'm about to crash. But the plane is salvageable. Can't give me credit for that, you guys. 
But the whole premise, I love this game. To be brutally honest, I didn't enjoy the game at first. I don't enjoy playing as tanks that often because tanks are a pain in the ass. But I have been meddling with the German planes and I've been meddling around with the army for I think this is Russia. This is Russia. And British But I haven't unlocked any new planes for Britain. This is the first British plane you have out of three. I believe the next one, which is the one I'm going for, is this one. But I currently don't have enough research points. And in order to get the research points, you got to go into a battle. Now, I'm not going to go into a battle right now. Because I don't want to go into battle. Now I'm going to be test driving the Hawk. If you guys remember, I was playing as the Hawk in the past, and the Hawk is relatively a really good. It, um, it's an alright game. It's an alright plane. Now, I can understand why it can become a frustrating game because you gotta lead your shots and by looking at this plane now I'm gonna start my takeoff procedure This is like how fast your bombers would originally fly. They're slow, but they got a lot of kick. Now if I tilt my wings and spin like I would, you can somewhat see where my gears are. Now I'm deploying my landing gear and we're going to try and land on this carrier. Now when you're doing a carrier battle are f fighting where there are carriers you need to be pretentious about how you come in to land like how I just screwed it up I'm going into the water or I'm gonna glide for a little while see I sank I died and I drowned I turn my plan like this you get to see my gears go up which is kind of cool now I love the gears up and down I just activated my flaps yes I know I activated flaps but I'm going in the 45% so I can slow down and show you how to properly land on this damn carrier Now my sp speed is greatly decreasing to below 100, correct? Now this is the perfect speed you want to be coming in on a carrier. Now stop. Now we have perfectly landed on the carrier. Now taking off is a completely different story. We're not even going to get enough runway anymore. We're not going to be able to take off. Oh, 
unless I do this. There we go. Now what it's doing is rearming the plane, which you can do, and you can get your plane repaired by landing on a landing strip. Now the disadvantage of trying to land is it's really difficult. You have to be at a cruising at a certain speed in order to get it done properly. But once your fighter is repaired and on a carrier, you're instantly sent back up. Unless it's an actual plane for a carrier, which I will go to and show you now. Now, I know it's kind of confusing having all these different planes to play as. It's confusing to know what plane you want to be, what country you want to be. And I preferred the American. Now, I'm going to do a naval bomber to show you guys what I mean by it is different. It is severely different. There are bombers and then there's naval bombers. This is a naval bomber. See, I can't drop my torpedoes or bombs on the deck, which is good. Now, I take off. Boom. Now what I'm going to be trying to hit is that ship. Now the difficulty is hitting it. Smack. Dab. There we go. I think I hit all of them. Now the problem with this plane is if I slow it to 28. I'm trying to get back on the carrier. I know you're supposed to come from the back, but uh, screw it. Gears down. And there we go. See, now for these planes, if you land from the front, which I'm pretty sure that was in the front. This is the back. I got caught. Now what I got caught on were these three little bands. There are bands on the little carriers which are designed to help you out. Well, I had to get it repaired as well. see it on the back there are four bands on the front there are three whether or not you catch band is completely up to the plane now that was a mistake Now we're going to be going on to tanks. Now I'm going to discuss what I love about the tanks. Well, there's things that I love and things that I hate about the tanks. Yes, you have all these different types of tanks. Yes, you can unlock jets in the game. The problem about the jets, they have very little ammo on you and you burn through like crazy. But let that's not what I'm trying to talk about. I'm going to army. As you can see, and if you remember from the past, I got a tank destroyer. Now we're gonna go as a test drive with the tank destroyer. Now that's a bomber. What's on the loading screen? 
Now the bombers are big, bulky, and severely slow. I'm going to slowly turn this turret and fire. And three, two, one, fire. Destroyed. Now, if you guys remember from the episode where I was showing the tank destroyer and ha I was having a little bit of fun with it sticking around. That one's moving. That one, I believe, was the one we couldn't penetrate. Yeah, that's the one we couldn't kill. Now, what I love so much about the tank versions is the sounds and the guns more sound beautifully. They sound like they would in real life. Now I just gotta aim properly. Target destroyed. a tank kill. Now the thing about this, you can just drive in there and shoot them up like there's no tomorrow. But, um, I'm gonna switch. Actually, I'm not gonna switch and show you all the different types of tanks I have. But, um, that's the tank destroyer. Now you have your medium tanks, your light tanks, your reserves, which honestly don't do you much in a tank battle because you only get three lives in tank battles, unlike on arcade for aviation, you have until you run out of planes. That's what I love so much about the aviation between the army and the aviation, it's just fantastic. Now I could go into a French aviation and pilot a French plane like this one. I think this is, yeah, it's a fighter. Let, let's do it anyway. Now this is a French plane. This is one of the planes you'll start off with, of course, because it's a reserve, reserve plane. You start off with your reserve planes and then you start unlocking better and better planes. Now, this is a reserve plane. Why it has so many cannons, I don't know. Why it has so many guns, I don't know. I'm not the one you should be asking. Perfect takeoff and landing. Now, when you start learning how to land and do everything, it takes a while to get used to. Yes, it does. But, um, it 
It took me a long while to figure out how to take off and land, but um, to be brutally honest, I didn't care. And there it goes, wings. The crashing and the way the designing of the crafts, aircrafts and tanks look. It really does a great service and it really brings out the good in the game. The good thing is if I wanted to, I can hold J and just restart. That plane will still be there. Now, if I just crash into the thing right there, and then now leave it, that crashed plane should still be there. There it is. I think. I'm going to try and clear it. I don't think I'm going to clear it. Come on, crash it! Now, I'm just going to end the video here, you guys, because the whole purpose of this video was to discuss why I loved War Thunder. Next time, I will be discussing why I love World of Warships. Too bad I can't test anything. I'd have to enter an actual match. Or I'm just gonna slap a image on it and be like, okay, no, whatever. But um I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Um this was just me ranting about what what I liked, what I didn't like about the game. The graphics of the game are good. I love the design of the planes, the design of the tanks, and the sounds of everything is 100% spot on. I have to say, its graphics are good, but timing for matches to be found take a long time, sometimes, and what you gonna do? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Please remember, I have a Twitch account. I will be putting some videos up on Twitch or doing some live streams on Twitch. I will later be setting up a YouTube live streaming function again. Therefore, meaning eventually I will be live streaming games once again. I might even do a live stream of me playing Legends of Equestria either on Twitch, on my Twitch, which is Dawson Pony or I will be doing it on YouTube. Either way, you guys will be seeing me doing live streams again. Now in the past I did live streams like about Dead Island, me playing Dead Island. I found a guy on Dead Island and we played online for a while. He showed me a glitch where um, if he shot a modded gun with another gun, it cloned it and I got to keep a gun and sadly um, when I switched out drives um, I lost everything I lost the guns he gave me I lost everything it was very upsetting but what are you gonna do and I also used to live stream um, what was it? advanced warfare zombies and advanced warfare online and then since I now have the PS3, I might link it on the Twitch and have me doing live streams of me playing online on Black Ops 2 and even record me playing Black Ops 2 online and putting it on my channel. But regardless of that, look forward to seeing those videos in the future. Or look forward to seeing that in the future. I hope I can get that set up soon. But 
regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And just let me say on the record, this is a fantastic game. If you guys ever run into me on this game, or even remotely come across me, because my gamer tag is Dawson Pony, and my gamer tag online is also Dawson Pony on the PlayStation for Black Ops 2. It is Dawson Pony. I think it's Dawson Pony 26 or 27. I think it's 26. Should be 26. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I hope to see all you in the next video. Remember, hugs all around, and I'm looking for people to do collabs with, so if you're interested in doing a collaboration with me and playing a game, please let me know down in the description, in the link below, on the comments down below. I'm sorry, I'm out of it. It's really late at night. Please let me know in the comments down below what game you want to see me play next and um, if you want me to play online or form a clan online on any game that you've seen on my channel or even join me in a Legends of Equestria video, please let me know. I would be grateful to see you guys in Legends. I have been have been playing around in Legends a bit lately, but um, I haven't gone around to recording because I've been busy with school, so sorry about not posting anything lately. I've been busy with school. I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. I'm sorry I'm making this video way too long, and the primary reason I'm not going to be editing this video is it's because it's my personal point of view on world on war thunder I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys give this game a try if you run into me online on this game um, feel free to hop aboard I do have a discord um, I might be leave leaving a link to my discord down below so you guys if you guys want to message me personally if you guys want to find me on discord if you have it and chat or try and get into a game with me feel free to send me a message down through discord and I will get to you when I get to you I'm currently having trouble with my phone I gotta go take that in and I hope to see you all in the next video bye and remember hugs all around and for you yes I canners out there be safe be good stay yes I can and actually let's leave this off with a positive quote it's only a bad day when you say it's a bad day it's only a good day when you say it's a good day so don't let your day become a bad day let your day become a good day that's off script I don't even script these why am I saying